Let's figure out how to find the sake that you like from hundreds of products at Tipsy. Figuring out what type of sake you like can help you with that. Tipsy has main categories and subcategories to explain the style of each sake. And paying attention to keywords such as Junmai, Ginjo, or Nama, etc., will help you find your preference. So let's cover some buzzwords. Ginjo is one, Junmai is another, and I'm gonna throw in Kimoto and Yamahai into the mix. In short, whenever you see the word Ginjo, whether it's in Junmai Ginjo or the word Dai Ginjo, it means the sake will have delicate expanding aromas. It's great to enjoy these in a wine glass shaped vessel. Whenever you see the word Junmai, you can think of it as having a fuller, expanding mouthfeel. Think of the texture difference between whole milk and skim milk. Premium sake without the word junmai is just as important because they tend to have a kide quality, which is a clean, clear finish desirable in sake. Finally, in contrast to the fruity floral ginjo type, there is kimoto, and Yamahai. These subcategories represent the orthodox brewing method and is high in umami and acid and it tends to have a savory flavor. So Ginjo Sake explains the aromatics. Junmai is about texture and then Kimoto Yamahai is about that nutty deeper flavor profile. Of course I'm overgeneralizing but learning these buzzwords like Ginjo, Junmai, Kimoto, and Yamahai, I think is a great start in exploring sake.